Here we are on the northernmost extent of the Kubi Fora Formation in northwestern Kenya near Lake Turkana, which is just off to our west here. And we are in an area called Area 1A. It's now only about one and a half by one kilometers wide, but it is a hot spot of fossil evidence of uh, extinct animals, including extinct hominins, which are our ancestors and relatives from about one and a half million years ago. This morning we arrived to the site, we had dug down to about this layer um, yesterday. And so today, our students and our uh, excavators from Kenya here and I dug carefully through this layer of sand all the way down to the footprint surface itself. And what we do is we each do this within squares. And within their square, we document anything we find as we go down. And it turned out today that we, we found about a half a dozen small fossils, almost all of them right at the contact layer between the sand and the footprint surface that seemed to have been washed in with the initial burial of this footprint surface. And then in the afternoon, we actually began very carefully with brushes, dusting off and sweeping off the surface of the print layer to see what was buried underneath. And we were very excited to find prints of a wide variety of animals, even including uh, a hominin or two. So here we're finding uh, a layer that has a preservation of a whole bunch of footprints of a variety of animals, including large water birds, antelopes, uh, possibly a fossil extinct zebra, uh, and we've even found some footprints of, of an extinct hominin, a really large bodied one, probably a male Homo erectus or male Paranthropus boisei, those are two of the species that lived at this time. Okay, here we have the footprint of an early hominin, which is an early human ancestor relative from 1.52 million years ago. What's really exciting about this is it's providing us this really unique kind of evidence about the anatomy and behavior of early hominins. And it's evidence that we don't have from the fossil record. For example, we can see here, first of all, that the, the length of the footprint is so large that we have an individual who, who reached a body size that we see in modern humans today. And this is the first time in the fossil record we have really clear evidence that our early ancestors had reached a body size as large as us. And we also have evidence of the, the modern shape of the foot that we can't get very well from fossil bones. So for example, here we see that this footprint has short toes, which are important for being able to push off on the ground uh, during walking and running and it's basically an adaptation for long distance walking and running. And we also have really clear evidence of an arch in the foot. So we have a deep spot here and it travels along the outside of the foot to the heel and a raised middle. So this was the impression left by the arch. And our arches today and our feet help make our foot stiff for pro propelling forward on the ground. And it also helps store energy that's released with every step that we take. So these are really fundamental adaptations that, have, that evolved in, in the feet of our ancestors long ago. And this is really compelling evidence of that these were present and in place by one and a half million years ago. Another thing that we are, are excited to learn from these fossil footprints is what other animals were inhabiting the exact same environment within a time period of only days to maybe a week um, at one spot on the landscape. Uh, most of the fossil record we have combines thousands of years together and averages the, those. And we know that climates fluctuate a lot within that span uh, of time. So here we have a chance to look at what other animals were found on the same landscape as our ancestors. So for example, right next to this hominin print is the footprint of an antelope that was made right here. And we also have footprints in the surface, like this one could be uh, the footprint of an early equid or basically a zebra ancestor. And we also have footprints of large water birds. So we're beginning to put together a picture of what the environments were like uh, that, that our ancestors inhabited one and a half million years ago. So this is the moment of discovery. Nyako here um, has just discovered uh, another hominin footprint in the same layer 
as the, the large hominid footprint that we just have been uh, working on. And um, one of the things that's really exciting about the finding multiple hominid footprints is one, either they're from the same individual and we can understand more about how they walked and ran. The other thing is if we find, if we find multiple prints of multiple individuals, we might begin to get a glimpse into the social behavior of the animal, of the hominids that are walking together on the landscape. And that's just a snapshot of behavior that we, so far, haven't found any other way uh, uh, to learn about in, in, the, uh, in deep time like this.